Alright guys, welcome back to another video and in this tutorial I'm going to be telling you guys how to do a very simple uh, command and that's just print stuff out on the screen. So of course go ahead and delete this right here and give yourself some room to work with. I like having a blank line above and below. It makes it stand out especially whenever I'm teaching and of course whenever we want to tell our program to print something type in the word print F and then two parentheses. Now of course every instruction we need to end with a semicolon so go ahead and put it right there and this is a command to tell our computer like I said to print something out on the screen and the thing that you put in between the parentheses is the thing that you print out. Now like I said your computer can work with a bunch of different types of data like whole numbers, um, numbers with decimal points, negative numbers however whenever you want to work with words or text you need to include it or excuse me you need to put it in between double quotation marks so do that and then you can just type whatever you want to type like Bucky is awesome so check it out this is good to go we can now build and run that and it says Bucky is awesome right on the screen how freaking awesome is that so now you're thinking that this program is probably the coolest program I've ever seen but I want to go ahead and print another line you know got to enhance this program so print F do it again semicolon double and what am I gonna put um, Bucky is awesome and I'll put Bucky is cool so then we're like okay gonna go ahead and build around this huh okay that is kinda what I wanted but I thought it was gonna be on a new line well the reason that this second one isn't on a new line is because we didn't tell our computer program to put it on a new line all we said was print out Bucky is awesome and then print out Bucky is cool and what did it do oh it printed it out on the same line so in order to move things to a new line you need to actually use a special character and that's backslash n now this has special meaning in C and it pretty much says go to a new line so now whenever we run this close this one it's going to print out the first one Bucky is awesome in that new line it's not actually going to print um, backslash n it just knows to go to a new line and continue printing the other thing and there are a couple of these special characters that you guys probably want to uh, take note of one of them is slash t and that just makes a tab so it says Bucky is awesome tab Bucky is cool and whenever you're making things like tables tabs come in, um, in handy a lot and I don't know if you guys are going to be able to um, recognize this one but slash a actually makes a sound on your computer I don't know if my screen recorder can pick up the um, audio coming from my computer but if you run this I don't know if you guys heard that, but there was a beep. I just heard in my headphones. This slash A is short for alert. It pretty much says, um, play your computer's alarm, alert, or beep noise. So actually run this code in your compiler and you guys can hear what your uh, computer sounds like.